What is up guys, Jav here, back today, jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today, we're taking a look at a sweet prime engram, an exotic engram farm over on Titan. So the flashpoint is on Titan this week. So if you want some easy, powerful rewards, then this is the video for you. Now, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now, each and every season, we normally come across one or two prime engram or exotic farms. However, when these videos normally come out, very few of them actually show the loot that you get in return. However, in this video, I'm going to show exactly what an hour's worth of farming can do and the sort of loot that you can get in return. Now, with each and every reset, we get a refresh of the prime entombment. This gives you a chance to receive a powerful prime engram by defeating challenging enemies or by completing crucible matches. Now, whenever this is refreshed, it's a great opportunity to be able to farm that buff in order to get as many prime engrams as you possibly can. And within the space of an hour, I was easily able to get three as well as many other legendaries and high level blue items as well. Now, you can also run this farm without that buff in place. However, it may take you slightly longer to get the rewards that you're seeking to help you power level up. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this week's Flashpoint is located over on Titan. And with that in mind, there is an adventure on Titan, which is an extremely easy farm for you to be able to farm powerful rewards. Now, if you don't have this adventure available, you can wait for it to be the heroic daily adventure and repeat this process in that particular activity that will be available later this week. However, if you have other characters and you haven't completed all your adventures on those, you can jump back onto them characters to be able to access the original Bad Neighbors adventure as I have here on my Hunter. Now with that all being said, we're gonna jump over onto the rig and make our way over towards the adventure itself. Now there's no special requirements for you to do when you're running the activity, but you just need to make sure that you don't finish it. So once you start the adventure, you just wanna run through this as you normally would until you get to the very end. Now, as you approach the end of the adventure, you wanna make your way across these platforms to the top of this rig here. Now whilst on this rig, there are a few waves of hive that you'll need to clear out. And this will be a combination of hive wizards, a knight, but many Thrall and Acolytes as well. So it will take you a few moments to clear these out, but once you successfully cleared this platform, this will spawn a new Hive Wizard. Now this is the wizard we're going to be using to farm Prime and Exotic Engrams. All you simply need to do is defeat her as quickly as you possibly can, and as soon as she's fallen, you want to jump over the edge to restart the activity. Now as the wizard is a boss, over time you'll likely increase the amount of chances for you to get Prime Engrams and Exotic Engrams over time. Now I ran this for a good hour just to get an idea of the amount of loot that I would get in return, but also to get an idea of the sort of power level these items are going to be dropping at. Now throughout the hour itself I gained three prime engrams, a mass of legendaries and many blues as well. And the great thing about blues as you gradually level up these will also help you creep up through the power levels as you approach the pinnacle cap. Now after each and every run you'll spawn back on the rig and you'll be right in front of the boss so this makes it very easy and quickly to do and literally takes less than 30 seconds per run to give yourself an opportunity of a prime or an exotic. One thing that I also noticed is that over time, due to the massive amount of engrams that gradually builds up on the floor, the game will actually start to slightly glitch out. So you'll notice game sound dropping in and out and some of the commentary not really reading out properly either. But don't worry, your loot is safe. If you were to be booted, it will all go to your postmaster for you to collect. And finally, this adventure is available to each and every Destiny 2 player as part of the original free to play version of the game. So it's not locked behind the seasonal paywall or the expansion from September either. So there we have it guys, that is how you can farm exotic and prime engrams in the shortest and most effective time possible. So if you're trying to fly up through the power levels, be sure to give this a try. Now if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel and we're super close to 20k now as well. And I appreciate the support of each and every one of you. Now if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.